Soldiers Medical Center in Dallas has a new weapon in the war on bacterial infections. The hospital is one of only three pediatric hospitals in the country with new technology that can ID an infection in about 30 seconds. CW33's Barry Carpenter is here with this medical breakthrough. Amanda, timing is everything. Children's Medical Center runs about 10,000 infection identifications a year. The old fashioned way took about three days, but not anymore. Now, patients, parents, and doctors alike can rest easier because the source of the infection can be identified in less time than it takes to watch tonight's medical breakthrough. All this stuff, huh? Sarah Hubbins and her daughter Kensley are feeling much better now. But that wasn't the case just a few days ago. Kensley had some form of bacterial infection that made her feel bad. And for Kensley, a small oh. infection is a big deal. Especially for kids like Kensley, she has no immune system, so the sooner they can figure out what type of infection she's got, the sooner they can start treating it because she can't do it by herself. Luckily for Kensley, Children's Medical Center has this, a mass spectrometer that reduces the time it takes to diagnose bacterial infections. Each one of those spots represents an organism. Dr. Christopher Dorn is the director of microbiology at Children's Medical Center and assistant professor of pathology at UT Southwestern Medical Center. Doctors still have to grow specimens, which takes about a day. We set it in. Close it up. Then the mass spectrometer makes up for lost time by using a laser to identify the bacterial infection, which is then checked against a stored database of more than 4,000 protein profiles. Many are referring to it as a revolution in microbiology, and we hope to transition that into a revolution for caring for patients. But within the laboratory itself, this is one of the biggest advances in microbiology that we've seen in a long, long time. Dr. Jeffrey Kahn is the chief of infectious diseases at Children's Medical Center and professor of microbiology at UT Southwestern. Dr. Kahn says identifying the source of the infection early reduces the number of antibiotics kids need. We often use a number of antibiotics until the bacteria is identified. In those circumstances, we're more prone to select for antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which are becoming more and more of a problem nowadays. The device costs about $200,000, but hospital officials say it will pay for itself in about two years. I see. As for little Kensley, it's already paid off. Four antibiotics quickly turned into just two, making for one happier baby. It's not only figuring out what antibiotics to use, it's what antibiotics you don't have to use, because obviously the less medicine you're on, the better. Barry Carpenter, CW33 News.